Yeah, one really neat thing. Joshua Seller is the guy um, who, on his album, Recorded Worship Rises, and that song uh, I co-wrote with him and another guy named Kevin Pauls. Yep. Well, this this song has kind of taken on a life of its own. It's been sung, uh, we think, kind of uh, in close to 20 churches all over Canada and the U.S. Um, Joshua was able to lead it at a big conference in Chicago, and there's some live video of that. where It was supposed to be just be a presentation song, like, hey, listen to the band play this song. Well, by the time they hit the bridge, there's a thousand people in the room, and they're all on their feet, hands in the air, nice. uh, engaged in this real deep worship. So it's kind of a cool moment to watch. Out of that, um, we've seen a bunch of worship leaders take the song back to their church, and We've heard of churches writing original drama scripts to introduce that song. Wow. It's, I don't know, we've seen on YouTube guys with their guitar kind of, hey, this is how you play this, teaching it to their own worship teams. So it's been kind of fun to see that people um, taking the song and making it work for them. And that's really, that's really a nugget in this thing, right? So we've got these songs that are coming out of our local church context, but we're not saying okay, you know, go and replicate this, go and reproduce this in your own church. We're saying take these songs and here's the tools to go and make them work for you, whatever that context might be like. Whether it's, you know, you've you've got uh, one guy with an with an acoustic guitar, or or a girl on a piano and a couple singers, or if you've got a full band, um, we want to be able to provide you with resources that are going to make it easier for you to be able uh, to to do these songs and to see your churches engaged in worship. That's really the heart of this thing: is that we want churches, we want to be writing songs that churches are actually going to sing. You know, there's there's so many worship albums out there and worship artists, and this really isn't about uh, releasing another album or creating another career or seeing uh, guys go on tour and open for bigger artists. That may all that stuff may happen with some of the people involved, but the heart of this is really uh, to see churches engaged in worship and to see these songs actually being sung um, by people in the pews or in the seats or wherever you meet. And so that's, that's really our part, is that we want to see that uh, happen all across Canada, and we're, we're seeing it. It's pretty exciting. That's awesome. That's a good heart to have, and uh, love your humility with that. So you mentioned resources. Kind of, kind of walk me through, if I'm, a, if I'm a youth worker or if I'm a worship leader at my church, what are some of the resources that I can get or that I can have access to from not only the album, but what else, what else is there? Yeah, so there's there's the EP itself, which right now is four songs, so uh, go to iTunes and pick that up. And then um, we'll probably link a, a direct link to Praise Charts. Yep. So you can go there and get really solid chord charts and lyric sheets, um, uh, lead sheets, which will have um, kind of a piano line or a melody line. So if you read music, that'll be helpful for you. Um, we're putting together just the, the final bits on, on click tracks. So worship leaders who use click tracks know what that is. Yep. Um, just kind of another layer of, of sound. It helps your band play a lot tighter. We're talking about um, actually releasing a next edition of the EP that would just be a resource edition. So you'll get the songs, you'll get the chord charts, lead sheets, click tracks, maybe some video content, all in, in one package. But Praise Charts has all that stuff. Um, the other thing is that a really big resource with this thing is just the people that have been involved. And so um, the people that are writing these songs, they're kind of everyday, regular Worship leaders, worship pastors, as as ordinary and everyday and regular as those kind of people are. <laughs> yeah. uh, and so, if you want to know, oh, how do you play that song? Uh, you know, you can f- go to the Facebook page. You can probably find out who wrote that song and send them a message, or find them on Twitter or whatever, and connect with them. And they'll and they'll tell you, oh, yeah, what what's the heart behind that lyric? Uh, you know, can you help me with this progression? So we put some video stuff online already, but. All the people that have been involved in this thing, you can reach out to them and, and you'll get an answer from them pretty quickly. Yeah, that's great because I, I remember growing up, I grew up in the church and uh, you know we sang Amazing Grace all the time. And it wasn't until I was in my early 20s that I finally read the story behind that song. Yeah. And then it became so much more meaningful. Yeah. So to be able to even access the, uh, the artists and say, you know, so, you know, what's the story behind that? You know, yeah. it's... Uh, you know that's just great. I think that's fantastic. Now, um, is this is this a hundred percent Canadian? Is this uniquely Canadian, or what? What do you? What is it? Yeah, uh, every person that's been involved in our writing days uh, has been is a, a Canadian. Maybe on staff at a church in Canada, or maybe um, maybe they've been uh, dispatched to the U.S. for a little while before <laughs> God redeems them back to the promised land. That's right. Uh, but yeah, everyone that's been involved in this thing has been Canadian and. Uh, from all over Ontario, but other other provinces in Canada, we're looking very soon to get this outside of Canada. 
talking with some guys on the East Coast and some guys on the West Coast about seeing some writing days happen. I don't want this to be a Canadian thing that happens in Ontario. Right. Uh, this is this really is uh, a thing that I think God is uh, starting to stir up across the country. So we're having discussions with national ministry leaders, national ministry organizations, to see how they can help facilitate uh, what we're trying to do. We're talking with some people who are already doing this kind of thing, seeing if if they would come under the Worship Rises banner, or maybe we could just support what they're doing already. Right. Um, but yeah, so far this has been 100% Canadian, and people have responded to this in uh, in a pretty incredible way. As artists might be able to relate to this. I've been parts of things where you know I've had kind of dreams and wanted to see some things happen, and so I've sort of felt like the the engine pushing the train, you know, like, <laughs> let's make this happen. Let's generate some momentum here. Yeah. And, um, sometimes it succeeds mildly. Usually it fails with this. I don't, I don't feel like we're pushing or that we're forcing anything or that we're trying to make something happen. The image that I'm using with our guys, I really feel like this, you know, the image of rather than, than, a, than a, a, a train engine pushing along the track, I feel more like there's this ship in the middle of this, sea of opportunity and we've gathered these people together on this ship and uh, I get to kind of captain it a little bit and watch the waters and we've kind of raised the sails and we're just waiting for the spirit of God to blow and so far um, it's it's been pretty cool to see how things have gone it's been pretty exciting but I don't feel like we're trying to manufacture anything I, I feel more like that idea we're just trying to catch the wind of the spirit here and so we're trying to be faithful and take some take some big steps and take some risks uh, and really have faith that God is is in this in the midst of it. Um, and at the same time, in every corner we turn, we're just kind of amazed. Like, man, I, I wasn't expecting it to go like that. I didn't think this was, was this was going to happen. I wasn't thinking we'd end up number two on iTunes when we yeah. released. That's a little bit crazy. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, just I mean, I'm sure there are some people watching that they can relate to that. that you know, you feel like you're trying to manufacture, you're trying to push it, yep. you're trying to get people on board. Hey, isn't this exciting? We just feel uh, we, we feel like yeah, there's been sparks of things already there already, and we're, we've get we've gathered people together, and now the wind of the spirit has decided to to blow, and God has shown us some favor in this, and we're trying to stay faithful with it. Yeah, it's great. You know, it's, it reminds me of uh, the passage from First uh, Samuel: "To obey is better than sacrifice." Yeah. You know, when we are obedient, uh, it, that's all God that asks us to do because he'll take care of the rest. He will, he'll push it into waters and to a different oceans that we may not even expect. So that yeah. is fantastic, Chris. Yeah. That's great. Uh, anything, anything else left that you may want to tell about? Um, why don't you tell us, uh, briefly about what's online for you guys in regards to, uh, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, website, whatever, give us that and then we'll wrap up. Great. Um, yeah, so facebook.com slash worship rises. Uh, you can go there and like that page and you can kind of get some updates and we post everything that we put online, we kind of link back to Facebook. So you can go and check that out there. Uh, if you're on Twitter, twitter.com slash worship rises, those two things have really been um, the, the connection for us in all of this. I was saying earlier, we didn't spend one dollar on marketing this thing. It's really just about the vision and the product and the relationships, and those have all been facilitated by this new media, uh, this new network that's out there. And so, Twitter and Facebook, those two things. We actually don't even have our own website. <laughs> uh, so e everything that's online is on those two places. You can go to worshiprises.ca, but when you go there, uh, all you'll see is our Facebook page. So that, that's that's really everything that lives online is on Facebook. And Twitter, and then um, yeah, of course the the stuff on iTunes and Praise Charts. Yeah, and if uh, I think if anybody wants to to see a brief glimpse about uh, what you guys ever did on any of your writing days, they can go to YouTube. Is that right? Yeah, go to YouTube and just type in Worship Rises, okay. and yep. some stuff will, will pop up, or go to Vimeo.com. But yeah, there's there are some video stuff online. Yep. That's awesome, man. Well, hey Chris, thanks a lot for your time. Appreciate it, and. Uh, uh, we, uh, we're looking forward to everything that God's going to do through Worship Rises and all the other songs that still need to come out. We're looking forward to those as well. Great. Thanks, Jeff. All right.